Ahoy, and welcome to Mellow Labs. This episode wouldn't exist if the Everything Presents light wasn't consistently out of stock. So instead of waiting for it to come back, uh, I'm just going to make my own with different parts and slightly different features. If for whatever reason you haven't heard of the Everything Present light sensor, let me introduce you. This is it. It's made by Lewis from the channel Everything Smart Home. I highly recommend watching his content. It's great. It keeps me up to date with all the Home Assistant stuff. Uh, I'll leave uh, links down below the uh, like and subscribe button. The main thing about this sensor is this bit right here. It's called the millimeter wave sensor. And if you've never heard of a millimeter wave sensor, let me put you on. A millimeter wave sensor is kind of like a motion detector, but just so much better. It can tell if and where you are in the room, just when you're sitting still, breathing. It's kind of cool. It can also track up to like three people. So a mad example I have for a automation is I can set a zone so that this bit is a zone so that when I step into it, it like turns on my lights and stuff. But a problem I have recently is that I'm so zoned out that I don't hear like my partner being behind me. So what I can do is when my partner enters the zone as well, because it can track how many people are in the zone, when my partner comes behind me, it can pop up like a little like doo doom and I'd be like, oh, cool, my partner needs my attention, right? That's so cool. And some of the like higher end models can actually like tell your heart rate. And all of this is just by a sensor, just throwing some waves out. It doesn't need to see anything. So like super private, but like it just throws out beams of the waves and stuff and it shoots back at it and it tells it stuff. It's so cool. Anywho, I'm making one with DF robot parts. So I'm using the uh, millimeter wave sensor, cleverly named C4001 24 gigahertz human presence detection sensor, 25 meter UART, great name, but it's the exact same one that Lewis used in the Everything Presence One, which is exactly the same as the Everything Presence Lite, but this one has a PIR sensor, which is just a motion sensor, which I don't really have the need for because the present sensor on the millimeter wave is already really good. So I don't really see a point of having it. Anywho, I've gone on a tangent and I'm also adding a BME 680, which is a pressure, humidity, temperature and gas sensor just for the fun of it. Um, I just want stats in Home Assistant, that's it. And um, uh, this is definitely the most expensive sensor I've put into pretty much any of my projects. And uh, I'm only doing this because DF Robot is sending me parts for free. If you want to replace this with something like a BME 280, which does temperature, pressure, humidity, it would work exactly the same and the sensor would be like a tiny bit smaller. But yeah, that's it. So those three parts, uh, I'm gonna shoot an email to DF Robot and they're gonna send me like five of each because I asked them very nicely. And uh, you guys should thank them very nicely in the comment section below because this is an expensive package. Thank you, DF Robot. <laughs> and very suspiciously, on the same day I'm recording, a DF Robot box appears. Let's have a look at my goodies. Wow. Everything landed on the desk. I'm impressed. We have the ESP32 Beetle. Awesome. And pin headers. Oh no, I dropped it. Got it. We have the environmental sensor. Ta-da. And we have the uh, millimeter wave sensor in a cute little baggie. Sick. Right, the rest of this can go aside for now. And we will first solder on the pins on these guys. And that's the wiring done. Let's uh, plug it in and program it. I'm actually just gonna speed run the uh, ESP Home installation because it's so easy. Add device, continue, name, room one. Uh, I'm using an ESP32 C3. We're gonna do that. We're gonna click install. Uh, we're gonna say it's plugged into this computer. We're gonna wait for this to uh, compile. 
So whilst this is compiling, I'm gonna prepare the code. So I'm gonna grab the code from a smart home scene because it literally does what I need it to do with this sensor. The only thing that's different is a couple GPI opens. And I'm also gonna grab the example code for the uh, BME680 uh, from ESP Home. Uh, I would use the uh, BME680 via BISC. Uh, the only problem is uh, the, this one is made for ESP8266 and it hasn't been, uh, I guess, ported over. The only difference between the two is that this one has uh, two separate values for one for VOCs and the other one for CO2, which would be nice because the regular one only has gas resistance which doesn't quite give you the same kind of information. You can kind of use it to like tell you what the air quality is, but it's not as good as the other one. But if this one does ever migrate to ESP32, I will just update the code because that's all that's required. Uh, okay, we can download the project. We can go over to the installer. We can click connect. We can connect to the thing. We can click install. We can find our file like so, and we can click install. So with those two pieces of code, I went into ChatGPT and I told it to just combine the two with the pins that I assigned to the uh, things and told it to name everything room one. So now I can just copy this code, go over to Home Assistant where this has been installed, which means I can go here and I can see that my room one is online. I can do that and I should be able to just paste my script in here and with no objections, sweet, I can just click install wirelessly and that's the code side of this done. And now the only thing left to do is to 3D print a little case for it, uh, do all the uh, wiring so that it's nice and permanent, hook it up and do some uh, home assistant automations. Okay, so I've set the uh, sensitivity up high and the uh, distance to be really low so that it only detects me when I'm in frame. So if I just step out of frame, it should say clear under room one occupancy, clear. And now I step back in it should turn to occupied, sick. So uh, I'm gonna go uh, print a case for this, uh, do the wiring and then put it up somewhere. Bada bing, bada boom, we've got a case. We've got a nice little air hole here for the air quality sensor. And uh, if I turn uh, this off, you can see that this is where the, uh, the uh, uh, millimeter wave sensor goes. This is where the air quality sensor goes. And this is where the ESP goes. And the ESP kind of serves as a lock for this whole box because I can put the wire in through here, which goes through both the, uh, the lid and the uh, base of it to like combine the two together and like lock it tight. Uh, this bit is like kind of angled so that the case actually stays on and uh, this actually works pretty well. I know because I've already printed it. It takes about 26 minutes to print and I'm actually really happy with this design. It, I, I just need to put the electronics in. That's going to slide on there. That's going to close it. It's like it's super thin and really nice and it just like goes flat against the wall. I did angle the, uh, the millimeter wave sensor down a bit so that, you know, I can have it like up high and I don't have to worry about the sensor not seeing us. So yeah, I'm gonna go do the wiring, put it in here and uh And there it is, all nice and compact and on the wall. This one specifically is in my corridor hallway thing. And theoretically, if I go into this kitchen, the light should come off. And when I step out, it comes back on. It works so well. Off. On. Man, it works almost as fast as an actual light switch. Cool. <laughs> Slight oversight on my part, I don't have a smart light bulb to put in here, so instead I did what Amazon does and I had an Asian man to do it for me.
And with that, thank you very much for watching. All the links you need are down below the like and subscribe button. And if you have a few extra insert currency here a month, uh, please consider supporting me over on Patreon. And with that, see you on next week's live stream. Goodbye. I quit. Hey, Mom, I got a job. <laughs> <laughs>